Okay, so let's see if you know how to change this rectangular equation into polar form. Now, this is something that you absolutely need to be able to do if you are in advanced math like pre-calculus or trigonometry. So if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll share the correct answer in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to fully explain exactly how to do this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. So uh, here we have a point. We have the x, y axis, and here is a lovely point. And we could describe this point uh, just as we did way back in Algebra 1 and pre-algebra with a simple uh, rectangular coordinate, okay, an ordered pair. So for example, this might be at the point like 5, 6 or something, right? x, y, ordered pair. So when we have equations where we are talking about rectangular, we're talking about uh, equations that describe points using this system of location, okay? The regular um, XY system that your XY order pair system that you're already used to, okay? But when you get into trigonometry, we have a completely different way to describe the location of a point, and that's called polar coordinates, all right? So here is an example of this point, but we can define it this way, okay? R theta. So R is the radius, okay, and this emanates out from the same X, Y um, uh, axis, but R is the radius out from the um, center, okay, or the origin rather, to this point, but we need to understand what's the angle from this terminal side. So if we can get this angle right here, okay, and we know the radius, we can uh, basically uh, describe the location of this point just the same way we can with an X, Y point. So what we're trying to do in this problem is to rewrite this equation. This equation describes points with the x, y system, the rectangular system. What we want to do here is to uh, rewrite that equation into polar form. So we're going to have to rewrite it such that these are the way we describe these coordinates. All right, now uh, those of you out there that are studying trigonometry should understand this. And well, let me go ahead and tell you. Uh, some of the things that we need to know that you definitely need to keep in mind. Okay, so right here, the radius is equal to uh, uh, the, the this distance from the origin uh, to this point is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. So these x squared and y squared, again, is from our rectangular system. And y, the y coordinate, is equal to r sine theta, and the x coordinate is equal to r cosine theta. So again, what we're doing with these x and y's and x and y's right here is we're establishing an equivalency between rectangular and polar coordinates. All right, so let's go ahead and put this all together and uh, get into this problem. So the typical type of question will be something like this. Rewrite the rectangular equation into polar form. All right, so this is our problem. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to 25. This uh, equation is in uh, a rectangular equation. In other words, again, uh, the points, um, the way we would describe a point with this equation is an ordered pair x, y. And we want to rewrite it into polar form. So that's going to be r theta. All right, so how do we do this? Well, we need to keep in mind these equivalencies right here, these formulas. So you never want to forget these. This is x is equal to r cosine theta, again, r is the radius, y is equal to r sine theta, and r squared is equal to uh, x squared plus uh, y squared. And again, if we take the square root of both sides, we get r is equal to the square root of x squared plus y squared. Okay, so if you understand that, then this uh, is uh, basically just a bunch of algebra. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace the x and the y here with r cosine theta and r sine theta. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So uh, x squared, let me move up here so we can see everything. x squared is the same thing as r cosine theta squared because that is what x is equal to, okay? y squared is the same thing as 
r sine theta because y is equal to r sine theta. Again, what we're doing is we're going from x's into polar form. We're going from rectangular into polar form by replacing the x and y's with their polar form equivalents. Okay, so r cosine theta squared plus r sine theta squared is equal to 25. So let's go ahead and simplify that. So r cosine theta is equal to r squared cosine uh, cosine squared, right? So if I had r cosine theta and I multiply by r cosine theta, r times r is r squared and cosine times cosine is cosine squared theta. All right, so hopefully this makes sense. So we have r squared plus r squared sine theta is equal to 25. Okay, so hopefully you're with me. And at this point, we're going to use our awesome algebra skills to factor out the GCF, the greatest common factor, because we have an R squared that's common right here. So let's factor out this R squared. So we'll have R squared parentheses, cosine squared theta plus sine, squ uh, sine squared theta. All this in parentheses equal to 1. Now, I know all of you are experts in trigonometric identities because sine squared theta is equal to 1. This is a trigonometric identity that you uh, hopefully um, know. It's a pretty common. Matter of fact, it might be one of the most common um, identities. So uh, for those of you that are studying this level of math, you already have studied trigonometric identities before you get to this unit or chapter. Okay, so if you don't know what I'm talking about, matter of fact, if you're totally lost here and like, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I'm taking this class and I am struggling. Well, I'm going to give you some great advice after we finish this problem. Up. But anyways, so I can change this whole thing out to 1. So r squared times 1 is just r squared. So r squared is equal to 25 is our equation written in a polar form. Okay, so if you understand this, that is fantastic. But uh, some of you might be like, I need more help. So let me go ahead and give you a couple quick suggestions. First of all, if you got value from this video, uh, please thank me by hitting that subscribe button. That's all I ask. So I need your support. So again, you know, a lot of you out there are struggling with this level of math. Even the best math students are, you know, uh, you know, having a tough time with this level. Why do I know that? Because I've been teaching this for many, 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 many years. So don't feel bad. Uh, you certainly will never feel bad that you're having a tough time learning something, especially if it's complex. But even if you're a great math student, if you've you know been successful with math in the past, but right now you're having a tough time because this material is difficult, well, I just wanted you to know that that is a perfect, that is very normal. Okay, so you're not alone. Uh, most people are just not going to pick up this material one, two, three. But uh, anyways, if you can hit that subscribe button, I definitely appreciate it. And make sure to hit that notification a bell so you can get my latest videos. Basically on my channel, I do basic math to advanced math, I calculus and everything in between. But uh, some of you out there uh, need additional help uh, beyond this video. So I want to invite you to check out my full on pre-calculus course. I'm gonna leave a link to, a link to it in the description uh, of this video, but I will teach you everything that you need to know about trigonometry and the topics that uh, you must master to be successful in pre-calculus, right? So what you really need here is a video that's a, more than this uh, type of video. What I'm doing here is a, like a quick tutorial type, but you know, for those of you that are struggling, what you need is full instruction at a pace that you can uh, control. But if this video helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.